I'm proud today that this subcommittee is considering my bipartisan legislation to address air quality issues that my home state of Utah and our country is facing. Over the last decade in Utah, we've made great strides toward cleaning up our air. We've seen communities rise to the occasion and reduce emissions through cleaner vehicles, low emission public transit options, and investing in cleaner energy sources. However, one area that still needs greater improvement in our understanding of background ozone pollution, and that is uh, uh, related to ozone. It's a toxic stew of natural and human-made chemicals. It causes haze over the Wasatch Front Valleys, and it's dangerous to health and even results in death. We need to understand why Despite increased health and environmental standards, ozone pollution continues to get worse in metro areas across this country. So by passing this legislation, scientists can help us understand the problem and recommend solutions so that we can improve our air quality and breathe easier in Utah and in places across this country. Background ozone is a combination of nitrogen oxides and volatile compounds reacting with ultraviolet radi radiation from the sun. The components of background ozone come from many sources, including emissions from vehicles, from power plants, industrial processes, from wildfires, and other human-caused pollutants. According to a report that was authored by the American Lung Association, ozone contributes to 48 deaths per year in Utah and contributed to more than 198,000 poor air quality days in the year 2018 alone. Ozone so deeply affects the quality of life in my state, that particles can be found in lungs and even in utero. A large problem that Utah and other areas across the country have faced is that we're not equipped to properly monitor ozone. We lack modeling to help us understand what and where uh, the sources that are contributing the most to ground level sources are, ground level ozone sources are. So right now, we can't tell if pollutants are coming from the idling car in front of us or a wildfire that's hundreds of miles away. The Background Ozone Research Act directs the Environmental Protection Agency to work with the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine to produce scientific findings examining background ozone in the United States and to provide recommendations to Congress so we can implement scientific, data-driven policy solutions to address our air quality issues. This bill will study trends in background ozone and how it contributes to ground-level ozone, including identifying non-natural and even international sources. It will also examine current challenges in quantifying sources and contributions to background ozone and ground level ozone on a regional and national scale. So I want to thank my colleagues across the aisle, Congressman Rooney and Congressman Olson, for their support and their work on this legislation. And I also want to thank the American Lung Association and the American Thoracic Society for their endorsements of this bill. Thank you again, Congresswoman Cheryl for your support on this important priority for Utah and for America, and I urge my colleagues to support this legislation. I yield back.